If you're one of those couples who wants to stay together for the children, I want to embrace you and I also want to kind of talk with you, remind you of why that may or may not be a good idea. I know many faith, faiths actually embrace that and they encourage that. They think that it's always better to continue to stay in the marriage so that you can raise the children in a stable, close environment. And couples can do that. When they're really committed to staying, to mar staying married for the kids, they can co-parent really well and put their differences aside knowing that the reason or the motivation for the marriage to work is these children they're raising. They're trying to pre prevent their children from going through tumultuous situations, the chaos of living in separate homes, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what the two of you decide to do, I think that can be a healthy thing in some situations. Another reason why couples choose to stay together is to avoid disrupting the kid's schedule. Sometimes when couples are thinking about a divorce, it's at a bad age for the kids, maybe the kids are teens, and the parents decide that they can be civil co-parent in the same home so that their children can grow up in a stable home, one home, they can continue to stay with that, those friends long term through high school, and this works for them. They go out as a family, they have a life together, it's just that the parents don't get along together. The one part of this that I don't agree with is when there is abuse or emotional abuse or any other kind of abuse with the couple. Then I personally think, um, both therapeutically and on a personal level, that the couple should split. This looks like couples yelling, insulting, being unkind to each other, having the kids wake up in the middle of the night with you know, knock down, drag out fights. That is not good for your child. It's not good for their emotional or physical health. And it's really not good for you. If you find yourself in that situation, I would be the first to say, pack your bags and get your kids out of that kind of a situation. The one time that I think it works the best to stay married for the kids is if the kids are a primary motivator for the parents to actually go to marriage education, to learn how to talk together. You can do that if you join like a workshop or you go to maybe one of the Gottman marriage workshops where you can get helpful tools that are going to help you love each other, talk kind to each other, and maybe build an intimate relationship for this. Not only that, when kids see their parents going to marriage classes, the kids become more interested in what the family is doing. They have more of a um, honor for their parents. They're all actually also very proud of their parents. They're in awe that the parents are able to be vulnerable and say, listen, we both love you. We don't want to break up our family. We want to stay together, but we have to learn to do it better. And many times these workshops or private therapists will bring the children in to kind of grade mom and dad and see how mom and dad are doing with the marriage classes. I don't think fighting or having a bad marriage is necessarily a reason to divorce. I do think you can stay together for the kids' benefit, but let that motivation motivate the two of you to take classes together so that you don't pass on all the hurtful words, all the insults, insults, all the chaos from what's going on between the two of you onto your children. Your kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna choose mates depending on what they saw modeled for them with you and their father or mother. So make sure you take this seriously. And if you have marriage struggles, rather than ever muttering the word divorce, take a class, take many classes, take workshops, make it a priority, and you can find a way to communicate and connect intimately, emotionally, and physically again.